Hi guys, in this video I'd like to talk to you about how to do a channel scan on a TCL uh, Roku TV. Pretty much any Roku TV that has a TV tuner will pretty much do this. So there are several models on the market and it should be a very similar process to, to this. I'm just going to put it on um, on this setting here. Okay, so just make sure that you got your antenna connected. So you may have it connected and want to do a rescan. Some of the channels may have, they might have some new over-the-air channels because they're always adding adding um, over the air channels and you do typically have to do a rescan. Now in the setup process it has a whole um, orientation pr uh, process when you first buy these TVs you have to register it online and then uh, go through the, all that setup process read the instructions and go through that. Now say if you just want a quick or you've done all that but you didn't have the antenna hooked up and now you want to do a channel scans this is how you do it. So go here to settings and you got a ton of settings in here, but it's actually kind of hitting. It's like I went looking for this, and where do you find it? It's in TV inputs, and you got to go to. You can rename all your inputs and all that kind of stuff here, but right here you go edit to your live TV, and you can edit your lineup of channels because here's whoops, here's all my channels that I have already scanned in. But say you had no channels there, you just go scan for channels. And then that's where you go to scan for channels. So it'll tell you to have your antenna hooked up. So the first thing it will ask you is live TV. If you already have connected a TV, an antenna or t cable to this uh, TV, then the system will search for all the available channels. This can take 30 minutes. It doesn't really take that long. I have an antenna scan for channels. Uh, step two, one, uh, one of three, connect to your other equipment. Are you connecting other equipment like a VCR that requires tuning to channel three or four uh, to it? Um, no or yes. Now I'm just gonna say yes, because I like having that. I do have a VCR connected, an old school VCR connected to it. It outputs to channel three, so I'm gonna go with that. And then it goes to step two of three, finding channels. So it's scanning the antenna channels, it has a little picture of an antenna and it's doing that. So leave it, you can skip this skip step, but this is mainly for an antenna. Now after this process, it will ask, the next question it will ask you, do you want to scan your cable channels? I don't have cable connected to this TV. Now in some cases, if you do have a home with cable, you can scan in any clear QAM channels and you'll be able to view them with a TV like this. Typically, you now in my area, there's like one or two channels that are uh, that you can connect the cable up uh, to a TV without a cable box. I don't even know if they've done away with that by now, but uh, it's always something you can give it a try. But I'm just scanning the channels that are over the air, um, over the air channels. And this TV, this particular model, this uh, F43 uh, uh, S435 TV, uh, only does ATSC1. And when I researched on how to do that. It um, didn't tell me any information um, that whether it was next gen TV, and it is not because I have a next gen TV channel. So I'm just going to skip this step, step. Now another thing, okay. So it will say, so I got 23 channels found. You can now watch live TV broadcasts. Note: Go to settings, edit your channel lineup, and hide the channels that you don't want to see. Okay. Uh, set up for live TV. Now I do have a little. Um, uh, USB storage device connected to this TV for my home videos but I don't what will happen in this process is it will actually um, format that device so I don't want to go in and format and lose all my video files off that so I'm gonna um, skip this step uh, you can search for channels again now if you have an antenna on a rotor that that's this is where it's a little bit annoying because it won't let you add more channels it'll just do a one scan only and say if uh, you're an over-the-air TV watcher and you have it in position southeast for certain channels, and then you go, you remove your antenna to southwest, and you got a bunch more channels, especially with like a directional Yagi antenna. This TV doesn't really work well with that, in my opinion. Search again for channels. I'm just going to say I'm done because I don't want to set up the live TV. So it goes to where I left off. I don't think it found any new channels, but there's the over-the-air channels that are available. There's channel three, which will have nothing on it, which is for an analog device. And 7.1. 
and 7.2, which is a Fox affiliate. There's uh, CKWS 11.1, which is like the only Canadian channel, and they have no sub channels in Canada. And this is my ATSC modulator, which uh, just plays off my satellite receiver. Don't need to get one of those things, but I just like having that for my free to air stuff so that I can watch like my own little private channel that's connected through the, the antenna uh, line throughout the house. And then there's uh, PBS with Daniel Tiger, and then there's PBS Create, um, PBS World, and PBS Kids, and 28.2 is MeTV. Now, you might have like a sub channel that looks like this. You got the bars all around here, like this MeTV affiliate. You can fix that by hitting the um, this button here. And you go to your picture size, and you can kind of stretch or zoom there. Now, in the zoom option, I was able to get rid of the bars. So there's Perry Mason. You don't have the bars on top of him. But the only problem when I do that is I go back to a main channel. It will be really zoomed in, and the other picture will be cut off. So that's one thing with this particular brand of TV, with the Roku brand TV, which annoys me is you can zoom in but then you have to make sure you go back into the settings and zoom out for different channels i wish each channel could just have its own setting for that but i'm going to go back and put that back to normal oh yeah it does remember it for the over the air tv so if you switch the hdmi ports it will remember that but uh do it right here. so i'm going to go back and just fix that because I'd rather have it on auto. And I'll show you the full picture for all the uh, HD channels. But then for the channels like Me TV, and maybe you're in it, you're, if you have an antenna TV, it will have the bars all around the, around the screen, which I wish they just had an option where that would just fix itself. So that's how you do a channel scan. Uh, you'll get lots of free, uh, free channels over the air with an antenna. Lots of classic TV channels that are on. Uh, on an antenna and lots of, uh, definitely with the, uh, with the digital sub channels, get down on my knees here. With the digital sub channels, there's a, there is a lot of content that you can get with an antenna. So it's kind of nice to have as a, definitely as a backup. If your internet cuts out or you don't have very good reliable internet, you can still watch TV with a over the air TV antenna. Get your local channels, my local channel for the local propaganda is CKWS, which is a global TV affiliate, and there, there's the propaganda. So if you want your local news, there, there it is.